In this video we'll talk about how you can uh, submit data from the dialog component to the server where your own uh, XBasic event handler will process the data that is submitted by the dialog. So you can see here we have a uh, simple dialog that was created in a previous video but at this point there are actually no buttons on the dialog that would allow you to uh, submit data to the server. So let's go back here uh, to controls and I can go and go to other controls and put in my own button uh, uh, that would call the dialog components uh, submit data method or I can go here to define controls where we've defined where we've predefined um, common controls um, that you'll need in many of the dialogs that you create so I'm going to go here and uh, click the uh, submit reset uh, control which will put in uh, two buttons for me and you can see that the first button is labeled submit and if I go to its on click event you can see that we've really filled in dialog.submit and if we go to the reset button it says reset and here we've again we've um, automatically filled in the dialog.reset um, uh, action for you and then uh, again, going back again to the submit button you can see that the enable expression has also been filled in to say that we only want to enable this button if the dialog is dirty so if you can see if I go to the builder um, and we go to insert field that uh, dialog dot is dirty is a built-in system field and so here we're saying only sub only show this um, only enable the control if the dialog is dirty and the same thing is true for the reset button over here so now when we go to uh, look at the uh, form you can see we have a submit button and um, a reset button and uh, the uh, submit button is only enabled uh, if the uh, dialog is currently uh, uh, dirty. So let's take a look now at uh, what actually happens when you press the submit button. So now we'll go to um, server side events and you can see here is a after dialog validate event which fires if uh, the data in the dialog has been validated as being correct. So let's just go ahead now and put a uh, debug one there and then um, take a look at what happens when we run this uh, component in working preview and then hit the submit button. So we'll go over here and we'll type in um, John Smith uh, 123 Main Street um, Boston Mass 02139 and uh, date of birth, uh, we'll just basically choose uh, some random date uh, in 1959 and then hit the submit button. So you can see now um, we've called back and uh, to the server and now we're executing a server side event in we're calling we're executing the uh, after dialog validate event and let's take a look at what's inside E. So if we go into the XBasic debugger and then look at E we can see here that um, there we have data submitted and there's all of the data that was submitted so e.data.submitted.firstname is John etc. So at this point our XBasic code can um, do whatever we want with this data including uh, writing it to a table. Now um, uh, if you want to write the XBasic code yourself to commit the data to the table then of course you're free to do so but in a subsequent video we'll show how you can use um, server-side action scripting to automate the whole process of committing data to a back-end table. Thank you.